find I've been waiting long enough. You know, there's only so long I can stay in here until I just go and try and escape by myself. Well, we find ourselves in a little bit of a predicament, to say the least. Um, apologies for what happened out there. Of course, I did not see you because of your terrible flying. You know, I did say you're not a very good flyer, and I did say you had gold squadron. Yeah, you need to look out for that. You are full of too many rogue pilots flying all over the place. You need more training. That's probably why you haven't been elevated to Platinum Squadron. And of course, Squadron Leader uh, Farquhar, you know, the best push pilot in the galaxy, of course. And now that I'm part of the squadron as well, I mean, it soon probably won't be long until they elevate me even higher there as well. But that's enough about me. You, uh, you look a little bit uh, like you've taken on upon yourself a little bit of an injury there. Yeah, and uh, I cannot help but feel just ever so slightly guilty upon that. Now, I know that you were flying so close in your Y-wing, but it was too close to my X-wing, I'm afraid, and I just did not see you. And unfortunately, I gave you a little bit of a nudge. Yeah, I mean, that's nothing to do with my personal piloting skills, that is all we got. You've gone again. God, you're so rude. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. to be. 
be too much damage there and of course me bashing my X-Wing into you has nothing to do with this so you, you really can't pass the blame on to me whatsoever more so that your pilot in skills just left you unaware of your current surroundings in the top right of this Star Destroyer and I think that probably or Astro Meg probably malfunctioned because they should have seen that we were getting a little bit close and flooded my Astro Meg but we of course had to do an emergency landing in the Imperial hangar which was empty and now we were on the escape route out of there to another Imperial hangar where we hadn't just alerted everyone. So because we are good friends, that looks okay there. By the way, I think that's okay, but it does look a little bit sore there. I'll carry on. Uh, because we uh, are friends and I, well, good friends actually. I know that we've been flying for quite a number of years now, part of the rebellion. And uh, I know that I'm probably your best friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Well, why wouldn't you want a best friend like me? Because I am the best pilot here, and I'm a friend who is the best pilot. Means that you probably would become a best pilot. I mean, you would think in that logistical mindset that that would probably happen however that has not happened and it has landed us here and in fact i would probably blame you in this situation uh, purely because you might have just lost us this battle because i'm not in there dog fighting at the moment and we're hoping that they are all preoccupied problem is they're not going to be out there for long okay and we really should get in that hangar so I am expecting uh, a single TIE Fighter Interceptor. I highly doubt there's going to be a TIE Bomber in there or something, and uh, from some miracle, an Imperial Shuttle, but I don't think there will be. Okay, and a uh, Lambert Shuttle or something like that. Uh, however, if I'm not able to fit you into my cockpit, um, which I presume would most probably be the case, I'm speaking in hushed tones here because I can hear Imperials, most disconcerting, don't worry. I did close off that blast door over there, so now we should be coming in. There, we don't really want to let anyone out of our presence. If the Imperials, um, if we manage to go in there and get a fighter, okay, I'm not going to be able to take you with me, which of course would be a great shame, uh, personally, for our friendship, and a great shame for the rebellion. I'm sure. <coughs> Do you forgive me? Uh, uh, and, and of course, uh, a great shame uh, of Squadron Leader Farquaad would be very, very distressed knowing that uh, you didn't make it out of here, knowing how long we've known each other and such firm friends we've become and fought and won so many battles here for the rebellion. I mean, that's why we joined, of course, to bring freedom and end tyranny to the galaxy and you know we really don't like the Ember. They're just too they just go too far. Okay, too far. We we don't like that. We're more of a chilled well, you know, we are platinum squadron and more of a chilled pilots in that squadron, you know, that's what that's what we want in the galaxy, not all this nonsense. And of course we don't like too many rogue pilots like yourself. God, you're dropping off again. Hello there, come back. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. That's for sure, make you feel better. I know that you're probably exhausted. I know that we've probably been awake for nearly 16 hours fighting these battles and, and it's can tire one out, can't it? Even rebel pilots um, activating head massage should activate and hopefully stimulate some brain cells in there, though I'm not hoping for too much, of course. Just let me know when you start to hear my voice and regain a bit of normality again. It's not very inspiring knowing that I might have to be flying out here by myself and I won't have anyone as a decoy to help me get out safe. I mean, I won't have a co 
pilot to get out safely. And that would be a great shame indeed. Okay. Are you, is that better? Is that better for you? Right. Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah, I know we've probably been battling for quite some time now, so you must be really, really exhausted. I know that's so terrible. Don't worry, I think we are probably by a little bit more time. We let the battle ensue outside so we don't actually have to go out in it. Um, but because I know that we're just such great friends, I'll be more than happy to give you head massages, check out your, your wound there, and make sure that you can leave here with me and be a tip top health and you can be well looked after so I can take you back to the fleet where you go straight to the medical frigate and take you in there one of the medical droids can look over you make sure you're okay and you'll be repaired good as new within moments and it won't take long as well you fought and fought gallantly in many imperial battles have you not Exactly, so you deserve that relaxation in maybe a back to tank for a little bit. Yeah, so that all begins here with me taking care of you. Okay, so I'm going to come on your left side here and just give you a bit of a massage around there. We need to stimulate, keep things flowing and making you feel good. Is that okay? Okay, just don't worry so much about the Imperials that you hear bustling around. Nobody's going to come in there, okay, and uh, no astromech's going to open up that blast door either. Yeah, don't worry. I know my stuff, and mine especially know my way around. People start a story. It's common knowledge. Okay. Um, you try to relax me. Like I said, we need you at tip-top health, and exhaustion's going to do you no favors whatsoever. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of a massage here for you. Try to enjoy. Work on your right 
outside there and see what we can do. Yes, hopefully he does activate something in there. I'm hoping brain cells. No, I'm sorry. I know we've been, we've been the best of friends for a long time. And best friends we can say, joke around. We're very capable and experienced pilot. And I very much would not want to be on the receiving end of your iron cannons and torpedoes. Best as you can in 
this moment as we need your strength to repair. That means we can make a valiant escape from this horrible Star Destroyer. I mean, I don't want to alarm you in any way whatsoever, but have you also noticed the number of Imperials? Yeah, it seems to be uh, getting a little bit louder and more frequent, doesn't it? As if they are almost outside that door, which I close there. Well, I should take them a little while longer to realize that that's actually been manually overwritten. So we should have a little bit more time yeah, for you to repair and feel better. If only we had some back to something, then you would be back in normal health within moments. Can't believe I'm having to do all this. All I want to do is escape.
Daphne in there, aren't they? I think they've they finally realized why that's closed. <laughs> well, it took them long enough. So if we're following imperial protocol, they will go back. They have reported the stormtroopers reported that they can't enter in here, which means the Thai pilots can't get in here either to get to their ships. Meaning the hangar is probably not going to be as full as I thought it was going to be, which means the battle outside is in the rebels' favour, which means they're going to try and break through more Imperial pilots, but they can't. So if they go back, that means they're going to get some sort of blaster which can take down that door. I think we've still got much time, and it won't be long, I don't think, until Farquaad will have this Star Destroyer on art. I know he's probably enjoying dogfighting out there at the moment, something which I really wish I was doing there as well. Though I must take care of my very best of friends. Okay, and I, of course, can't let anything happen to you either. I know. You think of all the missions we've been on. You know, we don't leave each other. That is the thing. And no matter what the circumstance, I know that this is probably the first circumstance that we've actually been just about to get captured. Um, not the best of uh, not the best of scenarios I was hoping for today, and it's not often that you find yourself in an imperial of a star destroyer. That's the, probably the very last place that you actually want to be being a rebel pilot. Okay. Um, so, once again, thank you so much for that, and uh, we, but we will be getting out of here. How are you feeling at this point? You seem more alert, which for pilot is what you need, because we will be taking out one of those Imperial somethings out there and flying out of here. Now, of course, I will do my best to take you with me in the same whatever ship we're going to take okay if you are unable to fly so don't feel bad if you're too tired if the exhaustion had kicked in and you just really need sleep now i could just put you over my shoulder that would be no problem for me that is why i'm in platinum squadron okay they only put the very best in their elite individuals elite humans have elite attributes uh, who enabled to sort of possess the slightly better things than say say what the other squadrons have so um, that is why I'm in here and it's not a squadron full of complete boasters um, no we are a noble squadron and uh, we just like to get things done in a certain way okay and uh, we don't really that's why we don't matter all around so much with you know gold squadron and, and all of you why wingers okay but, but that's what we call you yeah why wingers we think it's a very apt name for you, yeah, okay, but uh, it has enabled me to see more of you again. I know we don't really see much of each other, only if we get back to base and then we have all the briefings and then we go back to our quarters and then we're literally out again and then saving the galaxy again, so you can get a little bit busy from time to time. I think it's not going to be long now. Don't, don't be anxious whatsoever. This is going to be a complete breeze. I'll give you another head massage before you go. But when I say we've got to go, which could be soon by the sounds of it, I don't think it's going to be too much longer until they get that store open, you know. Mm, that's just a little inkling that I have at the moment. Hmm. back into you, okay, and we will get out of here, I can guarantee it, okay, yeah, well, I'm sure that my gallant, I think I'm picking up signal, is it far quite, far quite. Can, can you hear me, I'm just about to receive you, far quite. We we've crash landed in the Star Destroyer, yeah, me and, and, yeah, someone from, you know, yeah, gold, gold squadron. Yeah, that's what I was telling you about. Gold, gold squadron. The, the, the white wingers. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and why was well? Uh, I'm afraid, um, Lord Farquhar, uh, that I uh, too am stuck in this stylish tour. Now I know that's going to be moments in Farquhar. Farquhar. Uh, I'm afraid I've lost him. But it sounds a bit that uh, I think it won't be long until this place is completely destroyed. Uh, thank goodness, uh, Sir Farquhar is aware of our current situation and I'm sure would we'll have the intuitive sense uh, to wait until he sees us fly out the hangar. So I would say probably with haste that we should leave, but only once we hear another destructive something on this station, on this Star Destroyer. So just keep an eye on that door, we don't want anyone to come in there otherwise. Uh, I'd be feeling a little bit anxious. Um, because I don't really want to see any stormtroopers or Imperials today, okay? I only wanted to see Imperial TIE fighters and uh, ships. Yeah, I wasn't prepared for for people. Okay, and no, it certainly wasn't prepared for you. I don't, don't worry. The head massage will solve all of our issues here, and I'm sure that my story will be told to all of the rebellion. Not only did I land. I crash landed in the Imperial hangar and then my x wing was taken over by such overwhelming forces but I managed to escape with you on my back. This is of course is the true story uh, that I brought you back to good health with invigorating mass artists amongst the chaos of the battle going on ensuing outside and with Imperials trying to get through as well knowing we have they have captured or nearly captured rebels on board and in this tense situation that I single-handedly saved you and most probably the rebellion in this battle and I know that Lord Farquaad might have something to do with that as well and the Gladden Squadron always prevails and everyone will love that story and will probably think I'm an even greater pilot and heroic and courageous than I was previously and my story shall be told, as it always is, and you just don't really get too many stories at God's Squadron. Not you wiring us, I'm afraid. Uh, you should become an X-Wing pilot. I did say that when we left our planet. I said that, but you didn't. You insist on being a Y-Winger. I don't know why. Well, between you and I, I would personally prefer to one. Alive. Two, not encounter stormtroopers. Three, get an end, get off a ship. And four, be part of that battle. Okay, of the, the plans, one that's been rumored. Okay, I think it's something. An Edu. No, Scarif. Scarif, is it Scarif? I think, it, I think, yeah, Scarif. You know, the Imperial Stronghold. Yeah. There's something to do with plans on there, but this, of course, is top secret stuff. They wouldn't tell. Uh, gold squadrons, Goldius, you know, or Y Wingers, and of course, Platinum Squadron knows all, all these plans. So, I'd very much like to be a hero in that battle. Yeah, I think both you and I should quietly go through and hang on up. Okay, and we will nonchalantly select our ships, walk through as if we belong there in our big bread orange suits, get in one of the ships and fly off. So are you going to be okay to walk? That's great. Well, if you're not, just give me an nod and I'll lift you on my shoulder. Okay. But remember, the most important thing here is you're not a decoy. Okay. So I want you to get on one of those ships as well. Yeah. But if there is an interceptor there, that one's mine. Okay, so I'll take the interceptor because that's a lot faster and TIE fighters take a little bit longer. Okay, so, but you're not a decoy whatsoever. Okay, this is an equal escape. Yeah, that's great. Well, I suggest that we probably hit. You see the blast doors open there. You can see them on the floor. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, well, if you're feeling okay, take care of yourself. Right, I could be off again. 